So which grip is best suited for a topspin forehand? Okay, think about the different grips that you have. We're going to talk about the basics. Okay, you've got Continental, you have Eastern, Semi-Western, and Western. Okay, Continental Grip. Now, all racket handles, octagonal, we're going to give these flat surfaces numbers, okay? So, one's on top, that little flat bevel there, two is here, three is on the side, four is that little bevel just under the side there, and then five is on the bottom. Now, a continental grip, if you take the index knuckle right here on the inside of the hand and the heel of the hand, and you put those two points on number two, okay, that's a continental grip. Now, it's a nice grip if you're serving. It's a good grip for serving. It's a good grip for volleys, for overheads, but it's not the best grip to hit a topspin forehand. Now here's why. When you bring the racket back, the racket will pretty much be flat or if you look at my racket, it's slightly open. Okay, you don't want an open face racket when you're trying to hit topspin because if it's open back here, now you have to close it on the forward swing. So what would happen if you're here, you bring the racket back with that, top, that uh, continental grip. Now remember, to hit topspin, you have to swing low to high. Okay, and from the baseline, you, you really have to get that low to high swing to get net clearance. So the ball is ascending off of your strings from the baseline. So with a continental grip, if you drop the racket down, now the racket is not closed. It looks nice and vertical back here, but as I swing up, notice what happens. You see how the racket is open here. Now, I would have to make an adjustment with my wrist just at the moment of contact and try and keep going up in order to get topspin. This is a millisecond happening when the ball meets the strings. So, you know, knowing exactly when to make this movement is going to be very, very difficult, especially if you're playing opponents that hit one shot fast, next shot slow, and, and all kinds of shots in between. It's going to be very hard to get a, a rhythm of knowing when to make this move. Okay, the next grip would be Eastern. With the Eastern, you're going to take those two points there and there, and you're going to put them on number three. Okay, that little flat bevel on the side. Now, this grip is much, much better. Um, this is actually what Roger Federer uses, so he's having some big-time success. And, um, but the thing with this grip, and you'll even notice this with Federer, when he brings his racket back, the racket is not closed, okay? The racket is open up until about here, and then when he drops it down, he closes the face by pushing the palm of his hand down, okay? That closes the face, and then that, that automatically gives him a vertical racket at contact. So this grip is very good. It's good for your forehand. Um, Here's a side view. I've got Eastern now. I come back. Now the racket is not closed that much. It's pretty flat here. But as I drop down, if I push the palm of my hand down, the racket closes. And then as I swing up, you see it'll be vertical. Okay. So Eastern works. Next, semi-Western. Okay. Put them on four, on number four. Okay, now the racket's starting to feel like a frying pan, okay? Um, 
But the beauty of this grip is that when you're holding a semi-western grip, the racket is closed in the ready position. This is the side I would hit a forehand on, right here. Now, it's closed already, so as I bring the racket back, the racket's closed. Now, when I drop it down, it's still closed. I don't even have to think about pushing the palm of my hand down. It's closed. And as I swing up, as long as this point, the contact point, remember I need a low to high swing, as long as I drop it a foot below the contact point and swing up, I'm guaranteed vertical here. It's guaranteed every time. So then you just hit through and up and come across on the finish. Semi-Western, you look at all, I mean, this goes back to Bjorn Borg, Ivan Lendl, Andre Agassi, you know, um, Djokovic, Murray, all the guys with good forehands, semi-Western. Last but not least, Western. Now this grip, you take those two X's and you put the X's on five, believe it or not. Okay, now this grip, I don't recommend. Some players have had huge success with it. Jim Currier, a lot of the Spanish people, Bersategui, um, I think Sergi Bruguera, that's full Western. It's, it's a lot of clay quarters. Love this grip. But um, it's not the greatest when people hit you low slice. And I think it can be very tough on the body, on the wrist and so forth. So what are the best grips? It's going to be either Eastern, you're on number three, or Semi-Western number four. Um, I personally will use both, three and four. Um, but if I'm, you know, in a baseline rally sometimes and I'm not trying to be aggressive, I'm just trying to keep the ball in play, I'm going with Semi-Western. I'm on number four. If I want to flatten the ball out more, hit it with more juice, I'm going to go back to west, uh, Eastern. I'm sorry, Eastern. So that's going to flatten the ball out a little bit more. I'm not going to have as much spin. More energy will be put into compressing the ball and hitting the ball with more pace. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And please give me a like a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel. All the best. Take care.